for today's video, I woke up at 5 a.m. for three school days. Not an entire week because I didn't want to sleep deprive myself for too long. Just kidding, but along with that, I vlogged this in a very realistic way so that I was able to tell you guys how I felt about it as it was happening. And let me tell you, this was definitely an interesting experience. Good morning guys. It's currently 5.17 in the morning. Trust me, I did wake up at 5, but it took me a little bit to like actually get out of bed. I can't believe I'm actually doing this for a video. It was more of a trend last year, but when I asked you guys on my Instagram story, like videos you wanted to see, a lot of you wanted to see it still. I was gonna do it last year, not gonna lie. Like I had it planned and I never wanted to commit to it because I mean, it's 5 a.m. Like I don't wanna be awake. Sorry if I sound different. It's just my morning voice. Everyone's morning voice is like deeper, I think. So mine probably sounds deeper. The reason why I'm doing this is because this week, I feel like I have a lot to do in a small amount of time. I figured it would be the perfect week to wake up early so that I can get those things done. Also, I'm starting this on a Wednesday because we didn't have school on Monday since it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then Tuesday, I figured it was my first day back after three day weekend. So I should just, it's fine. And I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. too many days because I feel like that'll mess up my sleep schedule. We're doing it for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. So I made this little post-it yesterday of things that I want to get done this morning or like over the course of the three mornings. I do want to thank Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them a lot and I love their brand. You guys will hear more about them later. Also, if my eyes ever look like this, like kind of watery and a little bit red, it's because I just yawned. So yeah, honestly, I am so tired. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna try to get some things done this morning, even though I've wasted like 20 minutes trying to get out of bed. So I think what I'm gonna do first is answer some emails because I I have been so behind in answering emails and I feel like that's like top of my priority list, if you know what I mean. I wanted to turn on my lamp so I had better lighting, but it is so bright. Okay, so I finished answering my emails, which feels so good because I haven't done that for a while and I hate to leave like emails that have been sent to me for like a week and not answer them. I try to answer them as soon as possible because some brands, you know, they'll email me and I feel bad not answering them, but I got that done. So I'm gonna cross that off my list. Okay, so I turned my lamp off because it was just too bright for me. And I turned on my little makeup lamp behind the camera so you guys can still see, but it's basically 6 a.m. This is the time I normally wake up and like it's pitch black. This is what I have to wake up to. That's why it's so hard to wake up because there's no light to motivate me. But this is the time that to normally wake up so i'm gonna start my normal morning routine i'm not gonna like walk you guys through it because well one i've done that before and actually not too long ago but also i'm very tired okay so i'm back it's like 6 30. i already know what i want to wear for my outfit today okay guys so here's my outfit first we have this crew neck that i recently just bought from princess polly this is not sponsored by them but i bought it with my own money it says like sport something on the front it's like embroidered and and it just looks like that. Their crewnecks and hoodies are so comfortable. So if you ever need some, check out Princess Polly. Then I'm wearing just black Lululemon leggings, Nike socks, and probably my Nike blazers. Like I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Dossier. So thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. A few things about them. If you didn't already know, they are an online website and they mainly sell fragrances for men and women. So, so many scents. And a lot of them are inspired by the luxury, very expensive fragrances that can cost like hundreds of dollars and they make the same scent for the same quality but a lower price which is amazing they are 
are also doing candles now, I'm pretty sure, but you can check that out on their website if you're interested. I will link it in the description down below. So in my morning routine, obviously some days I do like to make sure I smell good. So I like to use the Dossier perfume and I want to show you guys my favorite scent that I have. And I have a lot of their scents, so I definitely would recommend this one. It's called Floral Grapefruit. And then also with their perfumes, it comes with this card like about your scent. It tells you like what's inside of it and it's inspired by the Chanel perfume right there. And you guys, it smells so good. Another cool thing about Dossier is that they have a really good risk-free return system. So when you buy a perfume, it comes with a little tester bottle. And if you're unsure about if you're going to like the scent or not, you can try it out with the tester. And if you end up not liking your scent, you can send back the original full bottle unopened for a full refund. So that's really nice. If you guys are interested in purchasing from Dossier, you can use my code AlyssaD10 for 10% off. Once again, it will be linked in the description down below. Below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Dossier. Alright, makeup is all done and now I just need to finish getting ready for school. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it or not just because it's not really that interesting and it's just, I don't feel like it's needed. So I'm gonna finish getting ready for school. Hi guys, so I am home now and I've been home for about an hour and a half. I will admit I'm definitely like more tired than I usually am because I woke up at 5 a.m. But it did make me feel productive to like do something in the morning, you know, like before I go to school. So there's like pros and cons to waking up at 5 a.m. but I am doing it for the next two days of the week so we'll see how that kind of ends up but since this video is more focused on waking up at 5 a.m. and kind of like how I am throughout the day kind of I'm not gonna vlog too much tonight just because I don't really need to so I think I'll just see you guys for day two of waking up at 5 a.m. Good morning guys, today is Thursday, January 20th and it's 5.29. I will admit, I've been awake since 5 but I practically almost fell asleep and so I've just been like laying in bed. It's been very hard to get out of bed but trust me, I've been awake kind of just laying in my bed and not wanting to get up. But we're up now and I will say it feels like when you have to wake up early to go on a trip Like going to the airport feels like that But usually for that I'm more excited to get out of bed so then I get out of bed faster But I'm not excited to get out of bed. I have a test today. I have a biology test I feel pretty confident, but I still want to go over some things. So I'm just gonna study a little bit All right, so here's my outfit for today. First, I have this white baby tee with this like butterfly design from Zaffle. And then I'm wearing these plain blue Princess Polly jeans and probably my high top Converse. Hi guys, so I am home now and it's already six o'clock. I did get a package and I know you guys love, or at least I love showing you guys like little hauls of what I get. And this one is actually from Glossier. And before I show you guys what I got, I actually wanna thank you guys because basically all this was paid for by you guys using my Credits. So if you use my referral link to Glossier, which is always in the description of every video It gives you guys 10% off of your order, but it gives me $10 store credit and 11 of you guys used that link And so I had a good amount of money to use so I want to thank you guys because you basically got this order for me This video is not sponsored by Glossier by the way I just I love their makeup and there's some things that have been kind of on my list to buy recently So I'll show you guys what I got first of all everything came in these big two bubble like ziploc things that they give you but I already took everything out. So first off my order was over $60 So they gave me a free milky jelly cleanser Which is like a cleansing face wash and then for my free sample for this order I decided to try their different shades of cloud paint Which is like their blush in like a paint texture and then of course we do have their little free sticker And then for the actual items I got this mega greens galaxy pack detoxifying face mask I got a refill on my mascara because I I kind of broke the wand on accident on my original and then I decided to try out their new monochromes essential eyeshadow treatment
trio things that they came out with because I don't own a lot of eyeshadow right now or even any and I figured with winter formal coming up I should probably have some so I bought the actual like set where it came with the eyeshadow and then a brush this is a mirror right now there's a film on it so it looks blurry but trust me it's clear and then it comes with the three eyeshadows so this is the one in clay so then I went ahead and I bought the other shade set that I liked and Heather is a more pinky purplish toned one this lighting isn't the best at showing the colors but that's what it looks like I thought both of these were super cute so I decided to get both because why not and the last item that I got is a water bottle so I've been looking at the water bottle recently and I thought it was so cute it just looks like this it's like the perfect size and the brand that makes it is this brand it's a pretty popular water bottle brand I want to thank you guys again for using my referral link so that I am able to purchase all of this so that's all I have for today's content and I will see you guys tomorrow morning again at 5 a.m. Hi everyone, it is 5.21 in the morning. I'm so happy because today's Friday, so it's the last day that I have to do this. <laughs> Although I'm only waking up about an hour earlier each day, it definitely like has an effect on my body. Like I feel like I'm more tired at school and I'm most definitely more tired like at home after school. Like I wanna just go to bed at like 7 p.m. But at the same time, I don't, if you know what I mean. It's also hard to get out of bed at 5 because like I wake up maybe five minutes before five o'clock or something but like I cannot get out of bed like every morning I pretty much always fall back asleep but not like fully falling asleep like I only like it's kind of like half falling asleep because I still kind of know where I am and then I kind of like jolt awake because I get nervous that I overslept too much which I don't like I only oversleep like 15 minutes so if you're interested in trying it definitely go ahead but if you're not a morning person like I am not a morning person then I I don't know if this would be the best for you, but I mean, you can go ahead and try it. Like I'm getting things done in the mornings, not a ton because I don't actually get up at five. I have a little less than an hour, but like I'm still getting things done in the morning. So, I mean, if you want to try it, I would definitely suggest it. I'm going to get a few things done this morning. I definitely need to edit for sure. And a couple other things. That's about all I got to say, honestly. Like I've yawned so much while just talking to you guys for the past two minutes. I'm so tired. Here is the outfit for today. Today is like a chill day, so it's a pretty comfortable outfit. We just have gray sweatpants from Zaffle. This cami crop top is from Brandy Melville, and then this is from my aunt's work. I'm also wearing this necklace from Ana Luisa. I wear it pretty much every day unless I wear like a high neck top, then I don't need a necklace. But that is my outfit for today. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. All right, so my makeup is done, and that's literally all I'm doing. I am definitely more tired this morning like I've yawned so many times and I don't know if it's because I've woken up at 5 a.m. for like the past few days so it's like starting to build up on me or if I'm just like tired for some reason but I'm really excited to not have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow and yeah so we do have a pep rally at school today it's for winter formal because that's next Saturday which will be a future vlog okay so it is currently 9 11 p.m. and although I did get some content for you it wasn't a lot but I think that that's okay because it kind of demonstrates how this whole idea of a video will like affected me so first off I would say the first day pretty much was like normal like I didn't seem extra tired or anything and then the second and third day especially today the third day I can really feel it in my body that I'm just like tired because usually on a Friday night I'm normally somewhat tired just because I'm excited to sleep in but it's literally nine o'clock and by now I'm usually kind of more pumped up if you know what I mean and I literally like I just want to go to bed this like challenge or whatever you want to call it has definitely made me much more tired and I definitely will not be doing it again but I would suggest anyone who's interested in like trying it out to see if it works for you because obviously it, it's not gonna work for everyone but it might work for some I can't even like process my thoughts because I'm just like so tired I'm so glad we finally got to the end of today's video and I'm so glad I get to sleep in tonight if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!